Hello everyone and welcome to my long-awaited New York City moving vlog. This video is picking up right where the last one left off, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. This was a very early morning after a very late night. These first clips were filmed at around 6 a.m. when I was driving into the city. I definitely had a lot of time to think the day before in my eight-hour solo drive to Jersey, but I think seeing the skyline that morning and just the adrenaline and nerves of it all really just made this move feel so much more real. We got kind of lucky and got a spot on the street to unpack the moving truck, although it was definitely far away from my apartment and the flights of stairs did not help either. So it was a very hot, very sweaty, grueling day. Once everything was unpacked, we drove over to Queens to drop off the moving truck. Hey team currently in my car or in my parents car did i have the foresight to bring my camera with me to get any clips no so they're going to be on my phone we are currently in queens and we are dropping off the rental truck the budget truck it's currently 11 40 that took many hours many many hours we got there this morning at like 7 15 that's when i got there my dad and my brother got there probably like 10 minutes later and we got up at like 5 40 so heard of that i also went to bed last night at like one and i couldn't sleep because i was all like gassed up i guess on adrenaline from driving almost like seven eight hours so really i'm not like doing great but still kind of running on adrenaline it's starting to hit me as i drove over here which by the way i drove in new york city i feel very accomplished honestly it wasn't horrible there were a couple times where i thought something bad was gonna happen and or there were many times where there was no lines on the road so i don't know how that works but Welcome to New York. And then we're gonna head back to my apartment after this, I think, to chill out. And then I'm gonna start unpacking really quickly because Chloe, did I tell you guys this? I don't know. But Chloe and Liv are in town and they're coming over. Chloe's coming over too, so very excited.
guys, we've had a situation. <laughs> I am currently setting my whole body off. Um, I'm so disgustingly hot. And we got stuck on the subway for 30 minutes. We were stuck on the train. We were stuck down there because it was like, this train was like, oh, we're coming in 10 minutes, coming in no minutes, coming in another 20 minutes. Yeah. So we were like, enough's <laughs> enough. Do you see my sweat? Hold on, you can see in the light. No one can see your sweat, you're glowing. Yeah, I'm glowing, I'm stunning, I'm, I'm glowing. I'm actually really hot. Meg, we actually have places to be. Yeah, we do. We're going to Central Park to meet Liv and Allie, but. Yeah, but that's an easier said than done sort of task. Yeah, you know? it's kind of like we're on the west side, they're on the east side, sorry, the park. So it's gonna be real fun. Yeah, and I think like, <laughs> I love the whole thought behind this, but like you don't just meet someone in the middle of Central Park. It's gonna be a little difficult, but that's okay. We're figuring it out. We're meeting Jasper later. We're going shopping. Yeah, we're going to Canal to, Street. Like, life like is good. Five hours to do this. Yeah, Chloe is frozen, but that we'd update you. me charging a drill because I'm trying to put together my nightstand it's just not going well also like my shoe storage what even this is the current update of the room I put my hamper there I need to hang my mirror that's gonna be a whole different day bed is pretty much done I do need to put my duvet cover on my duvet I've been procrastinating that and then I've just found my bed skirt and I might try to do it tomorrow but I have to be able to lift my mattress so I probably need another person for that to cover all this mess under here and I actually moved my desk here I moved my desk over here versus on the wall just because I think that it opens up the room a little bit more it gives me more space to walk and just like room for activities here and I actually might barely be able to fit the twin air mattress in here now which is great yeah I actually think I can fit it so this wall looks like this and I think I might do my pin boards here. It just depends on whether or not this is permanent. I'm thinking it will be though. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep my desk here or if you have any other suggestions on the room configuration. I have my AC unit over there. She's beautiful. I have my scalp in here. I have a plant there. I don't know if I'm going to keep that there. And this looks pretty much the exact same as it always does or it will look the exact same. I have changed up a little bit what's in my drawers because I don't have as much storage here. So I have my makeup in here. Actually, much like I did second year, I used to keep my makeup in my drawer and then I'll just do my makeup here because my lighting in my room is really good with the artificial lighting. And then I have less clothes than usual. These are literally all the t-shirts I brought because these are all I wear. So I have less stuff in here now. Or well, 
a lot of stuff, just less clothes. I put all my sweatshirts in here. I have sunglasses and bathing suits. It's kind of a tight squeeze of everything in here. I'll show you the closet too. I have this in the back of the store, but I found it was more annoying to open and close this door versus this one. It's a lot easier and then I can still get my hair right now. Full body looks. This closet is tight, guys. This barely fit up here, but this, you guys know how I love my organization. This is my saving grace. And then down here, I just have my shoes, which these are probably like half of them. These are all the ones that like smell fine. I don't know if that's TMI, but like my Hogan's, my Vejas are like really disgusting because I wear them everywhere. So I'm keeping them underneath my bed to make sure my clothes still smell good. And then I have boots here, my two pairs of boots, two pairs of Burks, and then a bag of bags because I truly just couldn't fit it up here. These are my linens, jeans, pants, sweaters, cowboy hats, duh. But this is all like super subject to change. Guys, I'm just making it up as I go. I also got a little sunburn today outside because we were outside literally all day which is lovely but yeah i think we're gonna keep working on the kitchen now while the drill charges for my dresser or my nightstand I'm not doing my dresser don't worry but i'm gonna load all the plates and dishes into the dishwasher to wash them right now so that they're ready to go for tomorrow when i eat them because tomorrow's morning Mon tomorrow's monday and i have work tomorrow so i need to do that Stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt sends it novocaine. Nature's brew of all kinds of things. The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. All right, everyone. I've put pretty much the finishing touches on my room. I still need to like hang up some things, but all my cardboard boxes are unpacked. I have a couple bags and bins floating around of stuff that I need to like organize and stuff, but pretty much first phase is done. I do need to do more like decorating on the walls and like making it my own, but like most of my things are unpacked. So I'm feeling really good. Today's Monday now, if you guys can tell. Finished up work for the day, feeling really good, but I figured I'm gonna end off the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know down below with a comment and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all my new videos. I'm gonna be doing a ton of content here in New York. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm open to anything, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.